Hello friend, welcome back to my channel. So, today we are going to see most important steps in static structural analysis. In this video, I am going to relate theoretical analysis steps with analysis software steps. There are total 7 steps, let's get started. If you are new to my channel please subscribe and press bell icon to get notified for next video. Starting with first step, static structural. So, before starting, we have to define type of analysis that we are going to perform. How we can define this analysis, we have to just drag and drop static structural in the project window from toolbox. Similar to static structural, there are different analysis, like thermal analysis, modal analysis, harmonic analysis, etc. Then, we are ready to perform static structural analysis. Second step is defining engineering data. Here in engineering data we have to define the material, which is used for our structure. By adding its required properties and values, we can define material. Basically, most of the time structures are made up of structural steel. The material properties of structural steels are already available in the engineering data, which we can use directly. If the material is different, then we need to define its material properties. About engineering data, we are going to discuss in the separate video in this series. Once we done with the engineering data, we can move ahead to next step, geometry. In third step, geometry, we can directly import structural CAD model from different software like SolidWorks, Creo etc. Or, we can make one CAD model even in the geometry. ANSI's software provides two types for modeling options one is design modular, and second one is a space claim. SpaceClaim is a recent modeling software included in ANSI's. Once we are done with the geometry, we can move ahead to fourth step, editing our model. In model step various steps are involved. I will tell you in brief. We have to assign material, defining coordinate systems, giving the contacts and joints and performing contact tool results. Then it comes to heart of the analysis, that is, meshing and applying a boundary condition. That's it, so. Up till now, this is called as a pre-processing. Once we done with this pre-processing we can start solving analysis. Solving model comes under processing. Where software prepares stiffness matrix and solves number of equations. Once we have result available, we can start last step, that is results or post-processing. In post, that is results or post-processing. In post-processing, we look after the deformation, different stresses, reactions and so on. If results are not convincing then need to modify above steps if required. And we will do that and run again. Done. So, here are the, the basic steps in the static structural analysis. Thank you for watching. If you like this information, please hit that like button. Thank you.